talk about what kind of fun all the time, how much fun is it playing on this team and in this offense right now? Helps. <laughs> Helps cover up a lot of a lot of mistakes. But uh, um, we're just playing extremely well off the ball, on the ball, making good decisions. Just you know, the ball's not sticking. You know, guys are uh, getting the spots and making um, the most out of the opportunities when they, when they get it. So um, just creating for one another and just making right passes. Is it as simple as moving the ball? No, it's as simple as making shots. <laughs> <laughs> It's mean, really what it comes down to. I mean, you know, it's not too often that we're going to put up 135 points, but I feel like consistently over the last few games we've done a great job of just making shots, but they've been great ones. They haven't been good ones. Some of them have been great. And um, as you see, we on some runs where we scored nine points in almost 33 seconds. So uh, you have that type of offense, and, you know, it's pretty hard to stop. So, um, you know, it's good. What's, uh, it, what's it say about putting up – what's it say about you guys putting up 135 points without you having to carry the scoring load for an extended stretch? Uh, I mean, you know, it's always great. I mean, <laughs> it's, like I said, we're making shots and, and we're continuing to make each other better and make those those plays that we weren't making at the beginning of the season. Um, but just trusting one another in, in specific positions in our offense. You know, it's just, at this point, I feel like we're very comfortable in what we're running and guys being in specific spots and opportunities that we can take advantage of and um, passes being delivered on time and just caring about the pass and caring about your teammate making a shot. So. Everything we talked about at the beginning of the season, I feel like it's translated now as we continue to get to know one another. The meat of the season right now, uh, you can tell that our team is just feeling really good being around each other. It's totally different uh, in terms of how we feel out there. So it's just really positive. And when I don't have to go out there and score 30, I, it's cool. For me, you know, I probably won't have to score 30 for for until we play one of the best teams in the league, or if, if any, until the playoffs. So I'm happy about that. Do you feel like this team is in their stride right now, especially in the last four games? We we'll see. We got some tough tests. Yeah. We got some tough tests. Um, you know, you know, just winning on the road is always hard. But uh, for us, we, then that's what we want to be um, kind of known for in this locker room, which is going out and being teams on the road as well as being great at home. So you mentioned, see. sorry, Kyrie. You mentioned uh, the things that you've been talking about throughout the year seem like they're happening now. Once you've talked about more than anything's consistency, do you feel like this has been the most consistently in terms of playing well? You guys have played. The last few games, kind of the, in terms of the way you want to play. Yeah, and also I think just how comfortable guys are in, in terms of you know the minutes that they're playing and, and what we're doing out there. Um, you know, you just don't see the body language as we once did in the beginning of the season of guys not getting shots or guys missing shots. You know, miss or make, we're, we're setting up our defense. And right? it's just starting to become that you know that, that team where we really trust one another. Game game to game and, and it feels good you know our preparation that's where it starts really too you know, just how conscious we are and how locked on you know, are how aware we are in terms of what we're doing out there so you know we're talking you know feeling good communic- being very communicative good yeah it's right. back on that with the with the way you guys are on the bench seems like you guys are really you know a lot of smiles a lot of joking around mm-hmm. like how important is that in the long run in terms of like how it translates on the basketball court is that a lot to do with the success well, yeah, hopefully we see those same smiles when you know, we're in a tight game. Right, exactly. Just, yeah. You want to you want to see that, and um, you want to see that translate uh, into into uh, situations where you know we're in a tight tight game, and you know we all still feel good. And no one goes their own ways. And that's how you build continuity in the team. And that's how you build championship culture. Just feeling good with one another and on the bench. It's just you know we're up. We want to see everybody do well. And those guys work just as hard as we do. Um, and we all want to see each other do well. What's so every Julian Elman? Jalen finding success finally in you know, like the, the limited minutes or the fewer minutes, fewer opportunities that he had last year. It's kind of finding a groove and embracing it. Well, I think one is that we've all had to adjust. So I think, um, you know, we all try to pinpoint one guy that just, you know, and he hasn't shot the ball as well or been, um, hasn't had the opportunity that everyone else in certain situations, the minutes, regardless of the, whatever reason it is. But I think now it's just in terms of the maturity of just being out there and being comfortable <coughs> with what he's doing and understanding why he's doing it. So you know, stronger cuts, better passes, better, better offensive decisions. You know, it's just things that you got to mature as a player being on a great team. You know, we're not on a good team. You know, we're on a great one. We have the talent to be great. So, um, you know, it's tough for adjustment for any young player, especially you know, coming in and you have expectations, but Jalen's doing a great job of just taking it all in and just really just adjusting as much as he can and learning from all the veterans ahead of him. So, um, we all can offer something for one. What's Marcus Morris been able to do, Kyrie, to really kind of carve out his own niche with this team? Even though when the season began, his role wasn't really clear what it would be. Well, he's healthy. I mean, you know, and we really get a chance to see what he, what he adds out there in terms of his dynamic of being a four man. 
most of the time. He has mismatches. He's a three man playing a four, so you know, most four men can't stay in front of you. Put that is you know, TJ Leaf, you know, most of the game it's a mismatch. You know, we're going against Hassan Whiteside and James Johnson. So it's a little bit different tomorrow, but I think that um, his aggressiveness is still the same. You know, he's been the veteran, just being poised and just staying solid for us. Not getting too high or too low. You know, he's, he's always the guy that's saying it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's, just, it's not that bad, y'all. It's not that bad. Could be worse. And, you know, for me, I always um, connect with that because you know he was in Detroit. I was in Cleveland. We had a lot of matchups, and there were some nights it was freaking ten thousand fans in the in the stands and coming to watch Detroit and Cleveland play. And you know, young draft picks playing out there and playing their hearts out. And, you know, it's tough. You know, and, and that's an adjustment coming to a situation like this where you have a chance to get that gold trophy. And, you know, young guys coming in, and you want everything now, and it's just got to be patient. So Marcus does a great job, and then it's translating onto the court how boys play. For you, how important is it to have that type of voice inside this locker room that can lean on you, you can lean on you, vice versa? Well, you see our type of connection that we have out there in terms of our pick and roll and what we do and how we talk. It's just pretty seamless. You know, we came in the same time. We have the understanding of where our journeys have started and where it is now and the appreciation of where we are. So we just want to take full advantage of it you know, for this year. If you like a question, to folks, please. At the, at the players only meeting after the loss to Milwaukee, that, that was the turning point. Uh, we could pinpoint a lot of turning points. I mean, it, we we just wanted to have, wanted to build that chemistry first. You know, just getting to know one another, really put everything out there, and then kind of move on from that point. And uh, at that point, playing against Milwaukee, we were not at rock bottom, but we needed to address some shit in this locker room. So <laughs> it was just good to get stuff out in the air. As grown men, you know, guys that have expectations for themselves and want to be great. It was good to hear everybody honestly speak about what they wanted for themselves and what they wanted for the team. So that made things easier. Thanks, Gary.